What's going on everyone? Jack here from Half Chrome and today I'm talking about these guys. These are the DJI FPV goggles and they're awesome. If you haven't seen the DJI FPV digital feed, you're missing out. Uh, once you go digital, you're not going back. It's that good. Uh, but these goggles are expensive and they have some drawbacks. One, they're not super comfortable. And two, you can only fly digital stuff. But I've got a couple of fixes that I think will make these better on both of those accounts. Stay tuned. Okay, so let's talk about this. This is probably the biggest mod. This is just a module from your UAV and it plugs right in. It's really easy install. I'll show you how to do that here in a second. Doesn't void your warranty because you don't have to solder anything and allows you to fly analog. And why is flying analog a big deal if flying FPV digital style is now the way to go? Well, there are some things like these tiny little toothpicks that you're just not going to be able to fly with the digital system. This guy here, this is a toothpick that I built using the DJI Cadex Vista. This is actually smaller than any production drone out there with the DJI digital system. So if you want something super small, you're gonna have to build it yourself. And it's still, you know, this is still just under 100 grams, whereas these little whoops, they're about 20, right? So big difference. If you like flying small things and you like the DJI digital FPV feed, then you're gonna have to do this easy mod. What's up? So we're gonna make these DJI goggles even better. Two easy additions for less than $20. Uh, the first one is we're gonna give it the ability to uh, view analog signals with this UR UAV module, right? It's like 13 bucks and it's pretty easy to install. You even get tools, although I'm gonna use my own. Uh, we should be able to get this on in a snap. For step one, take off this little side buckle. So this 3M stuff really is pretty fantastic. Creates a super sticky bond. Works, use it in lots of drone applications actually. All right, so I'm gonna grab my, grab my buckle, line up the screws, get them all started there. I'll hold it on there pretty securely actually. Not as, uh, I thought it'd be kind of flimsy. Um, then I have two adapters here. All right, I've got this here. This is my audio. All right, that plugs in here. Plugs in there. And then I have my battery, which is 2S to 4S. and plug that in here and plug that in there let's set her like so I think that's pretty good now really you can use any fat shark style module uh, rapid fire is by most accounts the best wildfire is the new one on the market uh, but true D diversity and this is an old one that I'm using here is kind of the uh, gold standard in terms of price um, meets performance. So this is kind of like the value one, best bang for your buck sort of deal. Now there are two sets of pins. Uh, I don't know if it's the outside or the inside that will work. I'm gonna go with the outside to start and see how that works. Now this does seem a little dodgy, right? Um, and how that just kind of sits there. It's held only in by the pins. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and grab some of that 3M tape Again, I'm going to put a piece here and let it just kind of connect, uh, hold a bond here to here to kind of hold it in place on both sides. Uh, that's much better with that just that little piece of sticky tape kind of put on the uh, upper battery port there. Um, and now I feel like that's a lot more secure. So it does add a little bit of bulk to this unit, but that's actually pretty out of the way off to the side now i do have to add my own antennas i'm gonna add some omnidirectional antennas and i believe those are the best i've done a whole video on antennas and what should you choose but really the the answer for most people is probably two omnis right a lot of people run an omni in a patch down below that's great but remember uh patches are directional so if it's pointing out 
uh, this direction, right? I better be flying to the side of me, right? Whereas Omni is, like it sounds, all directions. So now that mod is done and in place. The the big one of the biggest beefs I have about these goggles is they just don't feel super comfortable. And uh, this foam piece here, rubber piece, I guess I should say, rubber and foam. Um, isn't the best. And I've got this one here from URUAV, uh, this blue one, it's like five bucks. So I'm gonna give it a shot. Um, I've kind of quick tested it. This peels off pretty easily and it does seem to uh, do a better job of limiting the light leakage. So once I've peeled that off, um, the only other thing I need to do is put in this nose piece part here. All right, bigger, I just need a larger nose piece mount for this thing to hold. Actually there's two, right? So I don't know, first we'll try one like so. We'll see if that works. And then we'll put one up here like so. Again, for whatever reason, there are no directions with these things, but Let's see how this works. We're gonna start here down by the nose. Kind of sneak her in there. Yeah, that'll do it. That'll work. And then it's just kind of it's like Velcro, right? Kind of work it, work it around. Get a little bit of blinginess. And uh, yeah, there we go. It is definitely thicker, right? So I get a little bit more thickness and that should help with some light leakage. It is softer uh, than the uh, original pad, but yeah. All right, moment of truth. I'm gonna put this on my face. Yeah, I mean, moderate upgrade to be honest, um, moderate. But you know, I kind of like to look a little bit better, a little it's a tiny bit of blue, a little bit of bill, a little bit of bling, but not too much. Quick upgrades. I'd recommend them both for about 20 bucks. All right, so I got some recording uh, from the DJI goggles. That's the big image you see here. The small one in the corner is the Skytone O2Xs so that you can compare. Now, I do think there is a difference. Uh, starting with just the OSD, I think it looks clearer here with the DJI goggles. I, you know, look at the lines in the houses, look at the trees. Uh, I think you'll notice a difference. Now, here we've just switched. Now, the big picture here is the O2Xs and the small picture there is the uh, DJI set of goggles. Now this is not a comparison in terms of quality for the FPV feed, right? That is definitely a function of the module. But remember, I'm using the TrueD Diversity, and that's a pretty solid one. Uh, you know, I think they do a pretty comparable job. They're running duplicate antennas, so you know, keep that in mind. Now, one area that I do think this DVR definitely has advantage for DJI is slow-mo. Now, I slowed these down here, and you can just see that the slow-mo, here's, here's the sky zone, it just kind of is a little choppy. I know my flying is also choppy, but you know the footage is a little bit extra choppy because it's 30 frames a second. That's the best it can do. Now, we're going to switch over to the DJI uh, unit here, and this is 60 frames a second, and it's still pretty darn smooth even when I slow it down. So that is kind of you know, one of the really big advantages here. Now, would I say, you know, instead of buying a pair of analog goggles, you should just buy these? You know, I, I don't know if I would do that. But if you already have these goggles, this mod is a no-brainer. <laughs> you know, for less than $20, you can add this module. You can add the, the foam piece, and you really can upgrade your DJI FPV goggles. You know, uh, I love digital FPV, but it's not working on my whoops. This foam piece uh, feels nice. It adds a little bit of color and it, it feels better. Uh, but, you know, just out of the box, there's a little bit of light leakage. So you have to do a little bit of work to kind of get it to fit right. I'm still not totally convinced that this is what I'm going to do. It is better, right? Especially I'm in flying indoors with my whoops. I like this, it's a lot more comfortable. Uh, DJI didn't do a really good job of designing how these fit people's faces, um, and I find it to be slightly uncomfortable. 
I much prefer flying with one of these. These are my SkyZone O2Xs. These are my go-to goggles right here, my O3Ss, but the DVR and these things kick the bucket. That's the second SkyZone DVR to kick the bucket on me, uh, so that's not super promising. But I absolutely love the way these fit, or even the slightly larger O3Ss, and I prefer that to this. Now, the picture coming out of these DJI goggles is nice. It's big, it's immersive. Everything is crisp in here, right? So that's a definite bonus. And that's even true when I'm flying analog, right? I'm still getting a pretty crisp signal, right? It's, it's, it's a different field of view and that's adjustable to a degree so you can kind of find the settings that you like. Now, the other thing that's really good on this DJI system is the DVR, right? The DVR is gonna record at 60 frames a second. That's a big deal. Whereas most of these analog systems are only gonna record at 30 frames a second at best. So you're gonna get a slightly better picture. So the reception out of these things when you're flying analog is totally dependent on the module you choose, right? So I'm not using the best, right? The best is, is Crossfire, right? And I don't have a Crossfire unit. I've been using this uh, True D diversity, um, and it does a really nice job. And if you're flying whoops and things, you don't need a crossfire system. So just kind of keep that in mind. Initially, when I did the mod, this thing didn't work. And that's because some models needed a firmware update before this would work. So if you're having that problem, make sure you check the firmware on your DJI goggles, right? All of DJI stuff gets better with firmware updates. So make sure you're checking that from time to time. Anyway, I hope this was helpful. If it was, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. If not, hey, give us a thumbs down. We'll do better next time. And if you're looking for more information, check us out on halfchrome.com where we've got everything from FPV to photography. Thanks and happy flying. We didn't get the old drone guys t-shirt. Anybody remember when we were the drone guys before Half Chrome existed? Check it out.